すべてのドラゴン族はこの壺に封印されます It's your local dragon lady here with another episode of the dragon capture jar where I take a random dragon card and I just talk about off the cuff you know how it looks is it worth using so let's see what my lovely jar has captured this week and we have the beautiful blue eyes ultimate dragon and as the filming of this video this guy is in high demand apparently now i this is the gold rare version i don't quite remember where i got this one this has just been with my old collection from when i retired uh, i retired around 2004 and i came back in the summer of 2018 so you can imagine how much has changed since then <laughs> but uh, i understand though and uh uh, don't quote me on this. I believe there's some new support. We all know about the mysterious card called the, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Alternative Dragon, I believe. So that may be why people are after this card so much. I have my playset of different versions, but we had a bunch of spares in our trade binder and they just, they were cleaned out. Everyone's after them, so... Uh, now, the release time of this card was pretty... Uh, strange. You would have thought that the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon would have came out shortly after the first at the Legend of Blue Eyes because that was quite hyped. People always wanted to get an anime card and summon it and do their, you know, their Kaiba laugh. <laughs> but this came, this took a while to come out and I remember uh, actually on my birthday when the first Yu-Gi-Oh! movie came out one of the promo cards was the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, but guess what? You needed a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to <laughs> summon that, and it did not exist yet. So we were all just scratching our heads over that one. But uh, now that this exists, has anyone summoned the Shining Dragon? I don't know, but it would be pretty cool to try. Just at least get uh, uh, take a look at the uh, expression out of my opponent's face to say, uh, why'd you do that? <laughs> now. What can I say about this card? It's fusion. All you need is three blue and white dragons to get it out. But that's pretty much it though. There is no special effects on this card that can protect it or do anything to your opponent. But it is a 4500 beat stick, which was insane at the time that this card was released. Uh, most people were afraid of the regular blue and white dragon, which had a 3000. Now, yes, you could power things up more to be you know, like 31, 32, and you have the five-headed dragon, which was released, well, quite some time after the first few sets, so uh, having a 5,000 beat stick was great, but this was probably the easiest way to get a 4,500 beat stick on your field. Just three blue eyes, white dragons, polymerization, and if they had nothing to really to defend themselves with, if they have nothing in their back row, it is a quick card to go in for the kill. It's just that Again, there's no effects protecting it, so if you use a Mirror Force, if you use a Raigeki, Dark Hole, that's it. This card is gone to your graveyard. Now, of course, you can always Monster Reborn it back, so I guess that's one perk to having it summoned to begin with and, you know, being able to get it back a second time. But right now, uh, everyone just wants this for the supposed support that is coming out. And I'm intrigued too, because I have no idea what this new Blue Eyes Ultimate Alternative Dragon is going to be. What effects it has. Is it the same sort of thing? Like, do you just do a type of reveal and just get him out right away? One perk about, I will say, about the summoning conditions is there is no special, you know, conditions to begin with. It just says you can, like, it can be fusioned with the three blue eyes, but that means you can indeed summon this through a shortcut. So if you had a way to get this card from your extra deck to your graveyard, you can special summon it from your graveyard. If you have Waking the Dragon, again, that's another quick way to get this card out. So in today's game, I'm going to say it's not quite useful, at least not yet. Uh, I would not go through the trouble to summon it because I have better uses for my blue eyes white dragons, uh, especially with Chaos and Axe. I mean, they're just food, but I mean, if you want to use your blue eyes as food to feed the ultimate, 
why not? It, it would be cool to get them out to see your opponents, you know, look on their face. <laughs> but then you have a worse one if they just mirror force it, so that'd be pretty bad. But anyway, still a really cool card. I love the artwork. Uh, I personally like the look of this guy more than the regular blue eyes. He just looks so round and oversized. But see, I like dragons that have the pointy beak kind of style to them. So yeah, when I first saw him, I was just, yeah, yeah, he, he, he looks better than the regular blue eyes. But hey, it's everyone for themselves. You know, everyone has their favorite dragon designs and uh, I have mine. So uh, I'm guessing if this whole support rumor is true, I'm guessing if you are a Blue Eyes fan, you probably already got your own copy of from whatever set works. Um, I have multiple copies from different sets. So he's definitely going to be a keeper. As long as I got my play set, I'm happy. So if I will use him in the future with a new support, it depends how good it is. So yes, I'm going to say he is lovely. I love how you can summon it. It's quick, it's easy, you can do shortcuts, it looks good, and who knows, I may be using it in the future. So anyway, this is your dragon lady saying, be a good sport, play the game, not the fame. See ya! Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click on the little bell for notifications. You can also check me out on Facebook. Link is in the description below. Happy dueling!